Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Ocean back on Old School RuneScape. We've got ourselves a brand new character, Mr. Locked In, because uh, we have thought of a new series that we want to uh, try and start, you know, releasing some episodes of. Basically, we're going to get right into it. It is going to be an equipment locked account, uh, but we're going to do this in brackets to not make it too hard on myself. Uh, but basically, the first weapon or armor piece I get within that bracket, I have to equip and I cannot use anything else for the duration of that bracket. Brackets are going to be going based off of combat level. And so basically levels 1 through 10 is going to be bracket, 2 through, sorry, 11 through 20, 21 through 30, all the way up to about level 60. And at level 60, I think we're that's when we're going to switch to every five levels is going to be bracket. That way we can switch up gear and not have to spend so long on just locked in on that gear set. Everything can be subject to change. Um, we are going to drop all of this stuff. We are not going to be starting with it. We are not an Iron Man, so we are going to be able to use the Grand Exchange and all that. Uh, let's just head over to the Goblins over here real quick. Um, yeah, we're not Iron Man. We're going to be able to use the Grand Exchange for, you know, purchasing skilling and food and stuff like that. Even prayer, I think, is... Actually, no, we should not be able to buy prayer because that is a combat level. So prayer, we'll have to get on our own. Uh, but yeah, we'll be able to buy the skills. That way we can speed everything up a little bit. Um, I'm not going to pick up any weapons off the ground. It's going to have to be from an actual monster kill. So let's go ahead and attack this goblin real quick. Uh, it's got to be from a monster kill. So if this guy drops a bronze helm... I've got to put that on and it's locked in. If he drops a wizard's hat, I got to put that on and be locked in. Even if my weapon happens to be a sword or a bow, I have to wear that wizard's hat so we can't swap it out. I'm not going to do the waterfall quest until I'm uh, at least level 30 combat because that just bumps you up way too high. Maybe 20, but I think we'll stick with 30. And then once I hit a new bracket, I can use my current weapons until the next drop. Then I must switch. Let's see what else we have. We cannot purchase gear or weapons from store nor pick them up, but I will be able to buy runes and ammo. Look at this. We just got a chef's hat. That's what we have to wear. We already locked in for our first hat. Um, probably should have thought about that. See, that's why this might be an interesting uh, you know, series because we have to think about what monsters we want to kill to try and get the best weapons and armor for that bracket. Um, let's go over to my notepad again. Again, we're not going to be able to purchase or pick up anything up the floor. Uh, we have to get it from a monster drop. And then I cannot store weapons if I'm already locked in. So let's say I get a bronze dagger, um, right? I'm using that one. And then from a monster, I get a steel scimitar. I cannot save that steel, scim steel scimitar. I have to, you know, sell it back. We can use whatever GP for, you know, skilling and stuff. But I can't save that until I hit my next bracket. Uh, let's make it even bigger. Let's say we get a room scimitar and we get to 48, 40 attack, and then we're in the next bracket. I'm not able to use it. I have to go whatever my next drop is once we get into that bracket. So no storing weapons uh, to make it a little bit more tricky and difficult on myself. Um, but yeah, we're basically some goals on the account. I know this is kind of a long intro, my apologies, but we're just trying to get everything out there. Uh, goals on the account, I think it'd be really cool to get over to the, let's pull it up, I think it's all the way, holy moly, try that again, all the way over here somewhere, right? And that's Isle of Souls, my goodness, this map has gotten massive. Yeah, Kingdom of Varlamore and doing the Moons of Peril, I think would be really cool. If we can get a full set, there is a way to focus what gear you get. So it's possible for us to get a full set of, uh, you know, the, the Blood, the Blood, the Mage, or the Range. So we can, we can focus those sets and actually get those gears. So that's going to be really cool. You can actually do that with barrels as well, but I feel like since Volumor is newer, we're going to go for that. And honestly, some of those weapons are really good and their set effects are nice. So that's going to be one of the goals. Also a goal would just be, you know, getting a fire cape. That's always, 
a easy goal to set for yourself. So we're gonna have to definitely focus range a little bit at some point, but um, we'll have to figure that out down the road depending on what weapons we get. So anyways, that is where we are going. Let's go ahead and start leveling our guy up and getting some unlocks, which technically are locked in. All right, hopefully you guys enjoy the series and hopefully I enjoy making it. At the same time, we just hit our first level. Level two attack, we are almost level four combat. So we need to definitely get some gear. That way we can get locked in. Uh, we're gonna have to get ourselves some food. Uh, we are a member though, so we have uh, plenty of things that we can do. So let's just go ahead and figure out our first thing and uh, find a monster for us to kill. That way we can get some good unlocks. Okay, here we go. We went ahead and grabbed all of the things we needed for this here Cook's Assistant Quest. Figured we'd go ahead and do this because we're going to need to cook some things anyway for some food. Unless we make our way to Artie and steal a whole bunch of cakes. But uh, we'll, uh, we'll figure that out later. We also grabbed 20, 21 actually, balls of wool just to do sheep share. Get ourselves a few early levels to get ourselves going while our uh, hit points healed up a little bit from those goblins. So let's go ahead and turn these in, get some levels, and then we'll uh, we'll start locking in some gear. Ah, there we go. We got 60 coins as well as 150 crafting experience. It's actually really terrible, but we got three crafting now and four cooking. And uh, once again, guys, we are able to use the grand exchange. So like if I wanted to pick some things up and sell that on the GE, we can do that, no problem. Hey, this, this, this series isn't meant to be like super hard and demanding. It's just kind of be trying to be a little fun and different way to uh, to play the game and just locking ourselves in to gear and stuff like that and changing our, our paths of what we decide to do. So uh, um, yeah, we're more than welcome to pick some things up. We just can't pick up armor and gear and use that. We are able to sell it though. We just can't use it or store it. All right, so we went ahead and picked up a bronze axe in the chicken pen. We cannot use that as a weapon. We can only use it to skill with. Figured we'd drop some logs on the way up to Verox so we could sell these. Our normal logs that expensive. That's actually insane. Was not expecting that at all. That is a really good early money maker for me. And uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and keep that. We do not need the shears right now. How much money did we get right there? We just got 1.7K. We're gonna buy ourselves, what, probably some like sardines. It's gotta be pretty cheap, right? 20 coins each. We can buy We can buy 20 of these bad boys and not even get close to spending all of our money. And we are just gonna walk, if they buy, let's go ahead and put them in for a little bit more than I suppose. Come on, that should buy. Well, once the sardines buy, we're going to walk over to the men in uh, Edgeville over there. They will drop an iron dagger and a bronze med helm. We will not be able to equip the bronze med helm, but we'll be able to get some money from them and maybe that bronze dagger. So that's going to be our goal. We got seven. That's okay with me. We will head over there and uh, we might chop some trees along the way as well because 110 each for normal logs, is, that's, that's nuts. Ah, look at that. We got a bronze meta helm tempting us. We cannot wear it though. We picked up a dang chef's hat early on, but uh, hey, that's okay. That's part of the rule. That's what makes it pretty fun. All right, that is level five attack. We are going to switch on over to strength for right now. And I just thought of oh, also, I guess, some bronze bolts. We equip those. That is ammunition, does not have the same locking ability or uh, this ability, I guess, as the weapons and armor do. Um, ammunition, we were able to buy ammunition, sell it, use it, whatever, upgrade it, no biggie, it's just gonna be the main weapons. Uh, but also, I just thought of what's gonna happen if I get like, let's say I get a steel weapon when I'm in the next bracket, my next weapon is the new weapon, and I get a weapon that I'm not able to use. I feel like if that happens, then one, we're not able to store it. We're not able to level up until we get it. Just that that weapon's gone. You can only sell it. We're not gonna be able to hold on to that thing. I don't think that's fair. I feel like if we're gonna be going for a weapon, you should be that level to wield it. So if I were to get a steel weapon right now, that sucks, can't use it. That's just how it's gonna be. So that's, uh, that's kind of what we're working for right now. All right, guys, we are heading back to the goblins. I just realized that an iron dagger is a one in 128 drop, which is 
nuts from men, and that's the only weapon they drop. So we definitely are going to go elsewhere. We're going back to the goblins where they have a bronze spear, a bronze axe, and a bronze scimitar. So there's three weapons they drop. They also drop a shield. So uh, we can get a couple upgrades here. We definitely want a weapon. Now, if we get a shield and then we get a weapon that is a two-handed, um, that's also interesting. Didn't think about that. I feel like if I get a weapon or a shield, I should be able to prioritize uh, what I need in the moment. I feel like I feel like you gotta lock in the weapon. Locking in the weapon is more important. Need, needing a weapon. So if we get a two-handed weapon right now then we just don't have space for a shield. That sucks, that's how it's gotta be. We gotta decide something. Um, so yeah, the weapons prioritize over shields. So if we hit, have a shield and we get a two-handed weapon, bye-bye shield, we're using the weapon. I have clue scroll beginner. I don't know if this has many weapons in it, but it might have some armor pieces uh, yes, clue scrolls we can get weapons and armor from. That's okay with me. We cannot craft them ourselves, though. That would be uh, kind of cheating. And since we just got some air runes, we cannot use magic until we get a staff. So, a couple of updates there. We are going to take a look at this beginner clue and see if we can complete it, though. Well, my friends, we've killed 40 goblins, and uh, we were expected to... Can I cut this tree? We were expected to get at least a bronze axe, sorry, a, well now I forget. I think it was a, a bronze spear or a bronze axe uh, in like one in 40. So technically that would be one in 20 for the two of them. And then there was another weapon on there that was one in 128, which would bring that down even a little bit more to like one in 19. So we're definitely over drop rate by about like two times. We're gonna go get ourselves some more sardines, sell off some loot here. And uh, we'll just continue at it. We've got ourselves up to seven strength, five attack, and seven combat. While we're up here, I am going to go ahead and get my Slayer level up. And we're going to begin doing some Slayer because there are some monsters that uh, drop some armor and gear in the Slayer category that we will want to take advantage of as well. I feel like at this point in the game, we should have had a weapon or even a good piece of armor gear. But you know what? That's just how it's going to be. That's okay with me. Uh, we're having fun, and that is what it's all about. And there we go. We went ahead and completed the Children of the Sun quest for access to Varlamore as well. Uh, now we're going to go and take care of those other things we did. Just figured we'd take care of that while we were here. All right, as we walk back to Orlando to get our experience in Hunter and Slayer, I do want to say that quest rewards, they do count, and I, I am able to get a quest reward and use that as a weapon or an armor piece. For instance, the, uh, yeah, there we go, we got our levels. For instance, uh, Imp Catcher, I can go get a Power Ami if I do that quest. However, the reason why I haven't done that yet is because I don't want to waste that so early on. I'm thinking I'll probably do that quest around level 20, 30, maybe even 40, depending on how well we are rolling. Um, but my goal right now, we're gonna take a look at this here clue scroll. We are also going to sell off our loot, grab a little bit more food, and we are going to get a games necklace. That way we can go to birth rope and start our Slayer grind with that, uh, whatever that birth rope Slayer Master is. It doesn't even tell you. Uh, but that's what we're going to do because I'm hoping we can get some gear from Slayer Monsters as well. And uh, if not, we will, if we can't kill that monster, we will head back to the goblins to try and get ourselves a weapon. All right, all of that stuff sold off. We got ourselves 4.8K, that is fantastic. We'll get ourselves that game's necklace to get over to birth rope a few times. Cannot wear it, just can only use it. And we'll continue with our sardine. It's decent enough food. We'll get 20 of those. We'll see if uh, those buy right away. They do. Items, pretty full inventory. Why don't we bank a few of these guys? Uh, there we go. So we are going to head over to, I think I need a spade, actually. We'll buy one of those. Perfect. Ah, I wish I could pick those up. I really wish I could, but we are not playing that way. We're not going to be able to pick up things from other people. 
uh, for you know to sell it for money. We're just gonna whatever we get, we get. We can pick up ground items, but not what other people drop. So right now we're heading to that spot, uh, the patch of mushrooms inside or northwest of Drainer Manor. See if we can get a casket. Head over to Birthrope, get a Slayer task, and see what happens. All right, guys, we are going to equip the bronze axe and leather boots just for the clue here, and then we will promptly remove them. That way we are not breaking any rules by using the weapons on other monsters, NPCs, or anything like that. So let's go ahead and clap, and then I think we can talk to this guy. Another clue. Let's go ahead and remove our things. This is a beginner clue, and this is my third step. Come on. Shanty Pass, the Shanty Pass. We're going to Shanty Pass. There we go. We got ourselves the casket. Let's go ahead and teleport over to Birth Rope, and then we will open this while we're heading over to our Slayer Master. Wish me luck. We got ourselves <laughs> a shoulder parrot. Wow. We just got a 267k reward from a beginner clue and a... I, you guys, we have to wear it. That is, <laughs> what, what is that? That is that isn't the cape slot. We have to wear it. That is a that's a cape slot. We're locked in for the cape slot, and then we can take him off in about three levels, and we can. Uh... <laughs> oh, that is funny. And we can sell him for some good money. Our task is to kill twenty four scorpions. Not a huge fan of that. Um, not a great task, going to be honest. I do not believe scorpions drop anything at all, but that will give us some levels. But, uh, man, that's not fun. Hey, can I get a new one? Give me a new one, buddy. Come back when you finish the task. All right, let's go ahead and find a low-level scorpion somewhere. Hey, we got ourselves a bronze spear. Finally, we got ourselves our very first weapon, and we are literally about to jump into the next bracket, but we finally have a weapon. Our max hit is still two, uh, but we're happy with it. This is going to be shared XP, um, so at least we'll have this for a little bit longer than normal. I think we might as well go and uh, start attacking some scorpions, just see what we can do with them. And uh, I, the lowest level scorpion I could find was a level 14. I don't believe there's baby scorpions. Maybe I gotta search baby scorpion. Let's see. I don't think so though. I don't think so. Maybe if we go to the wilderness, there are some baby scorpions, but uh, let's see. No, not really seeing anything. Varrock sewers. Wow, the next item is a bronze axe. We cannot use the bronze axe. That would have been uh, that would have been okay too. That would have been a weapon. We got weapons back to back pretty quickly. But uh, let's go ahead and move over to the next thing. I don't think I saved my recording. So for those, if I did not, we did get ourselves a bronze spear, and then the next drop we got a bronze axe. All right, guys, I have an idea. We are here using our spear on these scorpions. If we, talk, if we take out one scorpion, cool. If not, no biggie. The goal is to get to level 10 so that we are in... Actually, you know what? The bracket... Need, I need to be level 11. That's when the next bracket hits. So I actually have this spear for a little bit longer than I thought. The scorpion's kicking my ass, though. Uh, basically, once I hit level 11, I'm going to go kill those wizards down at uh, down in like Draenor area. You know, the wizard's tower over there. They drop some wizard gear and a staff, which will allow me to train both magic and melee because I can use the staff as a melee weapon. This isn't working. We are not hitting that guy well enough. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and use this defensive stab until we get to level 11. Maybe we'll kill these uh, men over here. But yeah, we're going to go get some magic gear and a staff once we hit level 11. Then I'll lock in the staff and the gear and we can use our GP to train some magic and uh, we should be able to get a decent enough magic level to kill those scorpions and then uh, that'll be the goal right now basically so we get to 11 kill the wizards kill the scorpions work on slayer uh, that is eight defense which gets us to level 10 combat one combat level away from being 11 and jumping into the new bracket 
and we are pretty close to getting uh, another HP level, which should help us get closer to 11. Once we hit this guy one more time, goodness gracious. There we go, 10.3. So I imagine maybe like a couple more, couple more levels here. Uh, not too far away, we are not too far away. There we go, we hit level 11, so we are now in the new bracket. I do not want to finish killing this guy in case I get a drop that I don't want yet. Uh, although I do think we're gonna we're gonna switch up our our plan. I'm not sure I'm ready to do magic just yet. Um, although it would be good for the scorpions being able to get higher higher max hits. I think that we can uh, take those scorpions out, continue working on our melee stats because when we get to the moon's apparel, we're gonna want our melee stats up high so we can equip everything that we get. So uh, why don't we uh, figure out a new plan of action? We'll sell this off. And uh, we'll go from there. All right, we got ourselves a clue scroll in the inventory. We've already done one step. We know where to go for the second step. But since we reached a new bracket, 11 to 20, we are going to go ahead and grab ourselves a cape to switch out this shoulder parrot. We'll be able to sell that shoulder parrot, buy some supplies, super combat, better food. Then we'll finish the clue scroll beginner, see what we can get. We'll be able to sell any sort of shoulder parrot if we get it from there because we want to lock in our cape slot before we open up the casket. So we are, uh, we're almost done with this guy here and we will get ourselves a cape and our first lock-in for the new bracket. Pretty funny that we only had two lock-ins. I guess, I guess we had three lock-ins in the first bracket, but that, that's just how difficult it is to get gear without buying it from a, a store or crafting it. We have to get it from a drop, so we gotta be a high enough level. But there we go, we got ourselves a black cape, our first unlock for bracket 11 to 20. Hey guys, it's Ocean here, coming in with a little voiceover on this clip. Um, I think we're gonna end the video here. We have a ton of clips, and honestly, I didn't know where to stop it, because I've just been recording and saving clips, so I never really have any sort of split ending point or anything like that. So we're gonna end the video one here, but yeah, plenty of clips for videos two and three and onward. We are still playing the account, so we're having fun playing. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying it so far. And I look forward to seeing you guys on episode two. Let me know in the comments if you guys got any suggestions, ideas, and whatnot. I might be missing some uh, leveling ideas or monsters that I can kill for some pretty good drops. But other than that, thank you all so much for watching. I'm going to catch you guys all later on my next video. Where are you?